wasn't really getting any anybody results. Maybe they were enjoying it and they were feeling good, but beyond that, there I wasn't doing a big pile. So start reading books, start listening to people, following yourself, following a few others. First and foremost, because obviously what I say to a lot of trainers that you need to get to that point of being busy before even worrying about slowing down. You know, and you're young, you're 22, got plenty of energy. Chance of you being absolutely drained and knackered doesn't exist. You know, I, when I was 22, I was in the middle of Baghdad, Iraq, waking up at four o'clock in the morning, going to bed at midnight, and then being woken up four hours in a row with rocket attacks, hiding under my bed, hoping I don't die. Did that for six months straight. Just man the fuck up. The thing that you realise in that situation is you're tired, but so is everyone else around you. And then you realise, I can't complain because everyone's in the same boat. It's so easy to be influenced by others. I guarantee there's a lot of people that don't have the hunger in the gym that you have yet they're the same people that will complain when you start being successful. You know, why are you here today, Jordan? Because something that I've said resonates with you. I've said something that makes you think, Jamie knows what he's talking about. Clients aren't paying you to get them a result, as in they know what they need to do. Eat less fucking food and move, move a little bit more. But common sense isn't common practice. What they want to do is pay you a bit of money to hold themselves accountable to do the work that they know that they need to do. That's your job.